Now, the would-be assassin fired multiple rounds from a relatively close distance using a high-powered rifle, with one bullet striking the former president, and now Republican nominee for president in his right ear. FBI Director Christopher Wray suggested that it could be a bullet, shrapnel, or glass. And the New York Times also, as we recall, captured the bullet in a photo whizzing past Trump's ear. An update on Donald Trump's ear just dropped from Ronnie Jackson, the doctor, telling us that yes, he continues to recover from the bullet wound to his ear. Dropped from Ronnie Jackson on X, reposted on our account. He tells us that on July 26, we have a memo for concerned citizens of these United States. That's us. From Ronnie Jackson, former physician to the president, he tells us, here's an update on the health of President Trump. Now, as the former physician to the president for President Donald J. Trump, I have continued to monitor his health and well-being, along with his primary care physician since the assassination attempt in Butler, Pennsylvania on the evening of J-13, as we know, which we call the attack on American democracy. Now, the would-be assassin fired multiple rounds from a relatively close distance using a high-powered rifle, with one bullet striking the former president. And now, Republican nominee for president in his right ear. I have reviewed President Trump's medical records from Butler Memorial Hospital, where he was initially evaluated and treated for a, quote, gunshot wound to the right ear. Having served as an emergency medicine physician for over 20 years in the United States Navy, including as a combat physician on the battlefield in Iraq, I've treated many gunshot wounds in my career. Based on my direct observations of the injury, my relevant clinical background, and and my significant experience evaluating and treating patients with similar wounds, I completely concur with the initial assessment and treatment provided by the doctors and nurses at Butler Memorial on the day of the shooting. Now, during the hearing two days ago, FBI Director Christopher Wray suggested that it could be a bullet, shrapnel, or glass. Now, there is absolutely no evidence that it was anything other than a bullet. Congress should correct the record as confirmed by both the hospital and my Myself. Director Ray is wrong and inappropriate to suggest anything else. Says as a former physician for 14 years who served during three presidential administrations and served as the appointed physician for both President Obama and President Trump, I fully understand the global significance of this attempt on the life of the former president and current Republican nominee for president. And as such, I want to reassure the American people and the rest of the world that President Trump is doing extremely well. He is rapidly recovering from the gunshot wound to his right right ear. I will continue to be available to assist President Trump and his personal physician in any way they see fit and will provide updates as necessary with the permission of President Trump. Respectfully, Ronnie L. Jackson, former physician to the president. So an update to rebut Christopher Ray's fake story. Here is more confirmation. The Secret Service originally says that it was a bullet and the New York Times also as we recall, captured the bullet in a photo whizzing past Trump's ear. Photo appears to capture from the New York Times the bullet used in the assassination attempt, or glass or shrapnel as they make up. Glass from the teleprompter that didn't break. So Ronnie Jackson with a nice update and Christopher Ray trying to muck up the waters now rejected accordingly.